In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make any of your images on your plugins blink when notes are played using the MIDI meter. Okay, so now we're inside of Rompler. We're located on our GUI editor page. What we're gonna do first is get rid of that GUI by going up to the top of Rompler, click on edit, then clear GUI. It's gonna ask us, do we wanna clear it? We'll click okay. Now we have a blank canvas. So let's go ahead and load up our background image. I have it located in one of my folders. There it is. Load up the background image first. Then we're gonna, this is important, we're gonna go ahead and click background image on. And we know these are not the correct dimensions, but ours is 900 by 800 on this design, so that looks a lot better there. And the whole goal of this is to make these lines light up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and right click We'll choose add MIDI meter. This is what the MIDI meter looks like by default, but we're gonna go ahead and change these out because we have those lines in transparent. So in, in a transparent image, and I'll show you what that looks like here. Um, but what I'm gonna do first, let's see, I clicked on, on, and let's find that folder. Here's lights on image. This is what it looks like right here when it's on and don't worry if you see the button look like this is still in default we'll go ahead and change that out but what we're gonna do next is we'll go ahead and choose the off button next so there's the lights off image and it looks like this so it's kinda like darker um, so it just shows what it looks like when it's in off mode and then what I wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and shrink this down just like that, 900 by 302. You click on and off, and you can see it's showing it what, it, what, what these lines are gonna look like when it's on, but not when it's off yet, right? So it shows the button. Don't worry, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and shrink this down, and you could um, right click on the image, choose duplicate MIDI, and then what we could do is we could delete that first one and just keep this one here. Our dimensions for this image is 900 by 302. And then what we could do is just line it up just like that, voila. And then you could even preview it. Here it has an on and off view mode. So that's what it looks like when it's on. That's what it looks like when it's off. So now you're ready to go ahead and drag in a sample. Just like that, you have your music sample so that when it's those notes are being triggered, it's gonna play some sounds. Then you can go up and you can export your plugin out. Mine was an AU, you can name it whatever you want. Export it as an audio unit, drag it into your components folder, and you're ready to load it up in your DAW. So there you have it. Use the MIDI meter feature to make any of your images light up. Use your creativity. I envision cars lighting up, skulls, and more. <laughs>